in this video we're going to output our animation. We have to render it first. So um, these are our render settings over here. Um, but before we get to the render, I want to uh, adjust the sun. Uh, if we select our sun and go to the sun uh, tab, the lighting tab, we can add a sky here. Now there's a number of pull downs you can try. Desert, mountain, I like the classic one. So I'm just going to go zero. So if I uh, go to the render tab now, now I've got my setting on 100. Uh, I'm 25 frames per second. I'm just going to render that frame. It'll take a while because we have the grass and the tree. So that's rendering through now. And you can see there's a sky in the image now, which is better than having a grey background. Okay, I'm going to close that up. Now we have to set our output. We want to output this as PNG. PNG stills. Now RGB, if you did want a transparent background, uh, which you could add a background in After Effects, you should render RGBA for Alpha Channel, so it's a transparent background. We'll just go RGB because we've got the sky background in. Uh, also, uh, if you want to uh, render it transparent, go into shading and try and change the uh, alpha to transparent. We'll have ours on sky. Uh, now we want to uh, tell it where to save the files to and you'll want to create a folder for it. So uh, I'm going to click on that little folder there. I've actually set this up before. Uh, I've called the folder render. That's a previous render I've done. You can render a number of times, it just saves over the top of the last file saved. I'll go accept. So that's all set up. And I just hit the animation button. Again, the first frame just takes a little while longer. But it will take a fair while to render your animation. I always try and render overnight, so you just leave your computer going with, the, uh, with Blender rendering. And in the morning you have a shot to look at. So uh, this is going to take a fair while. So uh, we might come back after the uh, render is done. So I'll see you soon. The uh, rendering is finished. Welcome back. And uh, I'll just close it there. Just have a quick look at it. We can go up to render at the top here and go play animation. And we'll play back the last animation rendered and loop it. So, okay. So, um, I'm going to collapse Blender and go into Premiere. Uh, I'm going to get a new project. Uh, I'm just going to um, uh, set it onto the desktop. And I'll call it animation and go OK. So um, this is my project window. It might be down here. Uh, you can go project. Uh, I'm in editing mode up the top here. So I'm just going to right click and import my files now. You've got to find the folder that you rendered into. Uh, this is mine, it's the wrong way up, so I'll just uh, change the name so it's the right way up. I'll select that first one. Now you want to go to Options and go Image Sequence and Import. So it imports like a movie. I can drag it over onto the timeline and it'll open a window for me and it's set the length of it. 
So if I scrub that, there's my animation. Now I can come back over to my project, right click and import some sound effects. I've got some here on my desktop. I'm only just going to do a couple to show you. So I've imported some sound effects as well. Now first I just want to do a little fade in. So I'm just going to the effects tab here and I'm going to open up the video transitions and I'm going to open up dissolve. I'm just grabbing cross dissolve. I'm going to drag it onto the top of my clip here. I'm going to grab, grab cross dissolve and drag it onto the end of the clip as well. Now if I scrub that you'll see, or if I hit space bar to play it, you'll see that it's a fade in and at the end of my shot there's a fade out. Okay, so um, now I'm going to go back to the project window and add some sound effects. I've got like a suburban background sound, so I'm going to drag that down into this um, this track on the timeline, and I'll have a look. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just going to move this tool so I can see the track a little bit better, and I'm going to grab the sound level here, it's just a little white line, a ru uh, rubber band line. Move it down a little bit just to drop the sound. Alright, I'm just going to zoom out and pull the end of the sound back to the end of mine. Now I've got a uh, dog barking here, so I'm going to drag that onto my clip. Let's have a listen. That's pretty good. In fact, I like it so much, I'm going to select it, hold Option down, and drag another one off to put towards the end. And I've got some footsteps here. I can double click to have a listen to them. And more boots. We'll see how they go. I'll pop them down into the track. Now you notice how I can see the sound here, so it makes it a bit easier to try and sync up. So I'm going to get to his foot on the ground there and then move footstep. I'm going to zoom in a little bit at the bottom here. I'm just clicking and dragging with my left mouse button. I don't think this is going to sink very well. It's not too bad. Let's go back to the beginning. It's a bit loud, so I'll drag the sound level down using that little rubber band. And uh, again, he stops there. I'm just zooming out, so I'll pull that track back to where he stops. Let's uh, hit the spacebar and see how it looks. Maybe we'll pull that sounds of the boots up a little bit. Okay, so we're pretty happy with that. So we'll go up to File. Uh, we should save, of course. And I'll go up to File and I'll go Export. Export Media. And this control comes up. Now I want to set it to H264. H264. Um, all the settings should be fine. Uh, I've already named it. We'll just put it so that it saves on the desktop. Mine's just called Walk. And save. And now export. It's doing it very quickly, of course, because it's already rendered. We'll just collapse this. I'll find my copy of it, which is here. And I might as well go full screen, view, and to full screen, and we'll play. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed Blender, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.